A lot of you who are watching this morning may have been on the parkway last night as those shots were fired during the fireworks show. And among those people, Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts joining us live this morning on the phone. Alicia, so glad that you're okay this morning. Walk us through what happened and what you heard as this all unfolded. Well, Janelle, good morning to you. Um, you know, growing up in Philadelphia, the fireworks over the art museum are pretty much a staple in our family for the fourth. And this year we had talked about going down um, with safety in mind, knowing what had happened yesterday in um, Illinois. So that being said, we actually positioned ourselves uh, outside, directly out front of the Parktown West apartments there. Um, you could still see the fireworks from the tree line. You could still hear the concert, but we weren't in the middle of the crowd. And as it turned out, we thought we were, you know, in the in the safety sphere, if you will, but we kind of had a front row seat to what was going on. Right after the first few fireworks started, we saw the first stampede of people essentially coming from the area of the art museum. And, you know, as a journalist, we've covered a number of these mass events. You know, I covered the riots there, that first wave of people that essentially started running, many of them seemingly didn't even know why they were running. You know, mm -hmm. when that crowd starts, many people just start to follow. Um, and it was a large wave of crowd of, of people just all going in the same direction away from the art museum in tandem. Shortly after that, there was just a barrage of police officers with their lights and sirens going. Everyone from crime scene units, to patrol cars to motorcycles just heading, it looked like, in the direction of MLK. Again, being that we were at Parktown West, there was essentially a line of, of tree shrubs there and a police barricade. So we kind of stayed put because it wasn't clear what was happening at that point in time. Again, the fireworks were going off. We didn't hear any of the gunfire. We could only hear the fireworks. Mm -hmm. A short time after that, essentially past Eakins Oval on the behind where the uh, live music was, uh, Jason Derulo had just finished his act before that, and behind that, there was a second wave of people. And that's when we really knew that something was going, you know, terribly wrong, because the second wave of people was certainly a lot more frantic than the first wave. And by the second time, the, the, the time the second wave of people happened, essentially from the Eakins Oval, Oval area, another wave from the art museum also started to pour in. And this time the crowd, the emotion in the crowd had visibly changed. You could see people crying, people on their wow. cell phones. We saw one woman limping. Clearly she had injured her ankle potentially in the stampede. Um, and at that point in time, that's when Philadelphia police on bike, on foot, started coming in and pushing all of us away. They just started saying, go home, go home, everyone, go home. It is there was chatter of a shooter, but we didn't still know officially because, again, it was a scene of opposites. You've got these beautiful fireworks going on and this panic and this chaos happening on the and, ground. And that's the thing. So often when we talk with people who witness shootings, they describe shootings as sounding as fireworks. So here it is. You have you know this gun being shot and the fireworks show is going on. So you can only imagine the confusion and the chaos as you described there for us, uh, Alicia. Um, and when did you finally realize that you were gonna be okay and that you were given the all clear? Well, it's interesting because being in front of Parktown West, the fire alarms were going on. There was a lot. There were people running there, um, you know, and, and I think people were trying to get through cover. Basically, again, kudos to the Philadelphia police because they had surrounded the perimeter, and as they were pushing us out, they were running toward the danger. By the time we really crossed really over that 676 bridge, um, I think we felt a little bit safer, but I will tell you that crowd walking back towards Center City was just, silent and anytime mm. any sound happened everybody kind of jumped because we were all on edge at that point in time and there were some firecrackers still kind of going off throughout the city so you, you weren't essentially sure what you were hearing but the crowd was really silent there were some that were crying as they were walking back it was just a scene of devastation and sadness on a uh, night that was supposed to be such a celebration and that's what makes this so so difficult people out there with their families trying to enjoy themselves in this unfolding in the midst of it all. Alicia Roberts, our reporter who was there at the scene with her family, we're so glad you're okay. Thank you so much for getting up to speak with us about your experience there. We appreciate it, Alicia.